Yeah, okay, so that's the idea of the quote book, the theory behind it. And so your assignment will be to pick out one quote um, from the whole text after you read, you know, read the whole thing, read it in any way, shape, or form you want, backwards to forwards, forwards to backwards, up, down, uh, etc. Um, let it, let the quotes all full, uh, sort of flow over you, and then you want to pick one out, uh, and you want to uh, write a, you know, compose a seminar about that. So you pick the one out, and then you go to uh, seminar 1.1, there's a prompt there for you, which gives you a few questions to think about. Compose your voice thread, okay? Uh, and then, uh, again, just a reminder, before you, you know, are finished, you know, with your voice thread, after you compose it, make sure you add a summary or a synopsis, a description of what your voice thread was about, right? And then make sure you have a critical title, which indicates an argument, not just information, not just hey, I did the assignment, but what's your actual argument? And number three, most importantly, make sure you share with the class. Okay, so uh, with that said, let me turn to uh, just uh, pointing out um, what are, you know, sort of paradigms or sort of good models for this course um, of of quotes of you know that that serve almost a like a parable type function right so remember the title of the podcast is parables of the human and the post human right and so that's sort of the idea with doing this quote work you know can we sort of find a quote that sort of speaks to our philosophical political sort of uh, thoughts mechanisms and can we use that quote to sort of uh, help to guide us through the course or any text we come across. So what I'd like to do here, okay, is uh, look at a few model quotes, like I said. So I'm going to look at three of them, okay. Again, don't let this uh, foreclose your, your, your own selection, you know, pick what you want. But I'm just going to point these out because they can be sort of useful for the class, okay. Number 43 um, here is... Uh, we see Socrates there, so we, we know where it sort of comes from. So on, on the quotes, I didn't give you any authors or text so that that wouldn't get in the way so that you could explicate the quote uh, in your own way. Uh, but here, you know, I'm going to just tell you, you know, where this quote comes from and how it can be used or how it has been used. So this is uh, Plato uh, using the character Socrates in Book 7 of the Republic, this is the famous uh, or infamous, however you look at it, parable of the cave. 